And Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has thanked the Eritrean President Isaias Ferweki for accepting his olive branch in a specially recorded message. Abiy Ahmed directly addressed his counterpart in a short film made while he was visiting communities displaced by ethnic clashes in the south of the country. And this comes after he said that he would send a delegation to Ethiopia for talks aimed at ending their 16-year border dispute as both nations relish peace and harmony. Mr. Abiy even switched to Tengenya language to ensure that Mr. Isaias can understand him. Ethiopia's ruling EPRDF coalition announced earlier this month that it would fully abide by a 2002 border ruling to cede territory to Eritrea. Meanwhile, President Salva Kiir and his bitter rival, Rick Michel, have met face to face for the first time in nearly two years during a dinner hosted by Ethiopia's new Prime Minister, Abiy Ahmed. Pictures released from the Premier's office show that the three leaders locked in a group hug, smiling. But delegates from the two warring sides say that a peace deal to end the conflict that erupted in 2013 is still far off. Regional leaders have proposed another power sharing agreement that will see President Kerr retain his position while Mr. Musharraf would resume his vice president duties. The last deal signed in August 2015 collapsed less than a year later with both sides accused of violating the terms of a ceasefire and carrying out human rights abuses like massacres and rapes. The United Nations, the U.S. and African Union have all threatened punitive measures if the fighting does not stop by the end of this month. Tens of thousands of people have died and more than 4 million others displaced since the fighting began in December 2013. And the Cameroonian government says armed separatists in the English-speaking regions of the country have killed over 80 soldiers and police since their insurgency began in September last year. What began in late 2016 as a peaceful movement calling for greater representation of the mostly French-speaking country's anglophone minority morphed into conflict after a heavy-handed government response in which troops shot at civilians from helicopter gunships and burned villages. Well, that bolstered support for some in the Anglophone Cameroon who want to form a new state called Ambazonia. The unrest in the oil and cocoa producing southwest and northwest regions often involves hit and run attacks by insurgents on the army. No figures are available for casualties on the separatist side, but its leaders say that there have been some. The fighting has forced tens of thousands of civilians to flee over the border into Nigeria. In the reports, the government pledged 12.7 billion CFA francs over 18 months to help nearly 75,000 people who have been displaced across the two Anglophone regions. And 10 West African artists have come together to record a song against the CFA currency used in West and Central Africa. There have been growing protests in the region over the continued use of the currency, with some experts arguing that the region has outgrown it. African artists have launched a call to end the use of the CFA franc currency in a new song titled Seven Minutes Against the CFA Franc. The single, which was released in Dakar, Senegal on Wednesday, June the 20th, brings together 10 artists from seven countries from the continent and the diaspora. It comes amidst growing protests against the French-backed CFA franc currency used in 14 West and Central African countries. It's the brainchild of the car based musician Amor Bailly, who is known for producing conscious reggae music. The thing that the CFA found represents a currency for monkeys. It's a metaphor to say that it's a currency that does not represent us. We're still seen as monkeys, as animals. It's not a currency that represents our economies. I think that today it's very important to reclaim ourselves. The currency is part of an element that represents a people's sovereignty. We can't just sit here and allow a former colonial power, France, to make our currency and put it in our pockets. Even if it's a mutual agreement, we have to ask ourselves what our responsibility is in all this. Some say that this is like a voluntary servitude, because some of our leaders think that the CFA France is a good currency 
perspective for Africa, then it's important for us as artists, as ordinary people, to be able to say no. The CFA fund does not represent us. The CFA franc, a French abbreviation for the Africa Financial Corporation, was introduced by a former colonial power of France in 1945 and its treasury still backs it. Popular anger over the currency seen by many in the region as a symbol of unwelcome French paternalism dates back to at least 1994 when Paris suddenly devalued the currency. Those against the CFA call it an instrument of monetary repression that only benefits France, offering markets for its products as well as possibility to wield military and political power. It will be difficult to completely abandon the safer franc because it's a currency that we all know. If we give it up, it will be difficult for us to start getting used to a new currency. The CFA was originally pegged to the French franc and now to the euro. At the moment, we consider the CFA front as a currency that guarantees us a certain security, especially when it comes to protecting us against structural economic shocks, and it allows us to compete and to trade internationally in a world that is increasingly globalized. African countries are not ready, based on a number of factors. They are not ready from a geostrategic point of view, from the political and economical point of view, and even from the technical point of view, especially when it comes to managing a currency. <laughs> Rapping and singing in Wolof, Bambara, English and French, the artists and producers behind the song hope it will reignite calls to do away with the CFA. The future currency, whose name is yet to be determined, would replace the dominant CFA franc. Still to come on the program, Kano State in northwest Nigeria holds its annual traditional horse riding ceremony, popularly known as the Double Festival. Please stay with us.